Hello everyone, my name is Vishwas Goel. I'm a PhD student in the uh, Department of Material Science and Engineering at University of Michigan. And I'll be discussing our work on whole design for enabling fast charging in energy dense batteries and its in-depth analysis using continuum scale modeling. So let's uh, dive uh, into it right away. Uh, if we consider the electric vehicle application, we want our lithium ion batteries to have high energy density so that these batteries can be light in weight and compact in size. We also want our batteries to have high power density in that we want our batteries to support fast charging, say 10 to 15 minutes charging. And in the end, since these batteries are so expensive to, ma uh, to manufacture, we would like to have them have long uh, life, which is a determined in terms of cycle life. But when we look at the conventional porous electrode design, which, form, which you know, forms the basis of these batteries, we see that we can only achieve two of these properties simultaneously as shown here while we need all three of them you know, for, for our modern application. In order to overcome this intrinsic trade-off, we uh, develop this new architecture, which we call the whole architecture. And essentially the key principle here is that we introduce these vertical channels in the electrode thickness, which act as fast, uh, fast lithium ion conducting pathways and uh, as thereby uh, eliminating the lithium uh, mass transport limitation that exists or lithium ion mass transport limitation that exists in the electrolyte phase, which is one of the key limiting factors when it comes to um, you know, the poor rate capability of energy dense batteries. So in order to test the efficacy of these, uh, this design, we use continuum scale modeling along with porous electrode theory. And since uh, we, we arrange these channels in a hexagonal pattern, we use the symmetry of the uh, pattern to downsize our simulation domain as shown here. So now quickly, uh, let's quickly jump into the results of our simulations. So the first result that I'm showing is the comparison uh, for voltage versus time plots for 4C charging for both the electrodes. And by 4C charging, I mean that uh, 15 minute charging. What you can see is that the whole anode is able to sustain 4C charging for longer. In other words, 4C, uh, you know, whole anode can store more amount of charge uh, for the same cycling, pro cycling protocol uh, as compared to control anode. And this is, you know, that is why we are able to achieve higher power density from this high energy density cell. Now, in order to understand why the whole architecture enabled this, first we need to look at how the presence of these channels affect the diffusion dynamics in the electrolyte phase. Here, what I'm showing is how the electrolyte concentration evolves in the control anode. Uh, during 4C charging, what you can see is that uh, uh, the lithium ion concentration gets depleted pretty early in the cycling stage uh, in the bulk of the anode. And as a result, we establish these steep uh, concentration gradients. But if I look at the same result in the whole anode during 4C charging, what you can see is that the availability or the lithium ion concentration in the bulk of the anode is much higher than that of control anode. And hence the presence of these channels, it improves the uh, diffusion dynamics, thereby eliminating one of the limitations during fast charging. And the second thing to look at is how these channels affect the distribution of the electrochemical reaction in the volume of the electrode. So first, if we look at the control anode, what we see is that most of the reaction is concentrated near the top of the uh, anode. And hence, if since the most of the reaction is occurring at the you know anode separator interface, what happens is that this region becomes uh, saturated with lithium, which results ultimately results in a high susceptibility for lithium plating in in such uh, in such a design during fast charging. But when we look at the whole anode, what we observe is that the uh, the, the reaction distribution is much more homogeneous throughout the anode volume. And hence, not only we improve the utilization of the entire electrode, but we also reduce the uh, you know, likelihood of lithium plating at the top. And this we you know, validated with experimental results where we uh, made industrially relevant pouch cells with industrially relevant loading of three milliamps or greater than three milliamps per centimeter square. And what you can see is that at 60 charging, which is 10 minutes charging, the whole electrode is able, or sorry, the whole cell is able to sustain, uh, retain its capacity in a much better way than the control cell. So with this, I would like to summarize my presentation. We showed uh, we, uh, you know, how our whole 
architecture can enable us to achieve all the three properties in industrially relevant pouch cells, which can be used for electric vehicle application. With that, I would like to conclude. Thank you.